Hello and welcome. This is uh, Erika Denge from Change Media. And today I'd like to talk about signal flow. What happens to the journey of your voice or sound from the moment that uh, you speak all the way until one listens to you in a speaker? This is what is called signal flow. But let's start by talking about what then signal is. Um, in a studio like this, you speak. And when you speak, you release what we call sound waves. The sound waves then travel uh, through the air into this microphone. So we've begun the journey of our signal flow with sound waves. Once the sound waves hit the microphone, they are then converted into electrical signals. And there are various ways in which microphones do that, and that shall be covered in a separate video. But all microphones convert sound waves into audio signals. So the audio signals in this uh, microphone then travels through the microphone cable all the way to the soundboard or the mixer or the console. Inside the mixer, the sound is then able to get processed. One of the things that happens to your sound in the, in the mixer, for example, is for it to get um, amplified because the microphone itself produces a very weak signal. So one of the things we want to do with that signal is to amplify it in order for us to use it for various purposes. So the mixer will then amplify that um, signal. There are various things that happen in the process of uh, the sound traveling through the mixer. Apart from amplification, you could also um, tweak around with the frequency of, of, of your sound if you need to add uh, some bass or if you need to add some treble. Mixers have the capabilities to do that. It is also possible to tweak your audio levels by the movements you make um, you know, around the microphone areas to also get the kind of effects that you want. So you can do that physically or you can manipulate your sound using the mixer. When your sound then uh, is what you want it to be and you want to take it to the next stage, the sound then leaves uh, your mixer or your soundboard and makes its way to the recording software or the digital audio workstation. In this case, uh, I'm recording my sound on Adobe Audition. So once your sound uh, leaves the mixer, and this being a digital mixer, uh, it is also you know converted into a digital format. Uh, we began with an electrical signal, so at this point it's a digital format. It then gets recorded into the uh, audio recording software, which is Adobe Audition. And from there, you can also do some further manipulation or editing of uh, your audio, either as a single um, track or mixed with many other tracks to produce whatever you want to produce. As a computer, it also has quite a bit of uh, digital processing going on there. And uh, once you're done with that and you're ready to store your information, again, it will be you know stored as... A digital file. So at that point, we are working with a digital file. When you want to play uh, your signal back and listen to it through the monitors, uh, your audio signal then leaves your computer and gets to the studio monitor, where it is once again converted from uh, an audio signal back to a waveform. When a speaker produces sound, the diaphragm vibrates. You then get what we started off with, which is a sound wave that is audible to our ears. And that sort of completes uh, the audio signal from the microphone all the way to the studio monitor. I hope that you found that useful. Thanks for watching.